Tom Pilarstricker last updated 1217, September 25, 2017 Spam texts have been doing the rounds for years, but mass campaigns have remained rare. Many Kiwi mobile phone users have reported receiving spam text messages over the weekend, carrying a message usually associated with Nigerian email frauds. Customers of Spark, Vodafone and Two Degrees have all reported receiving text messages supposedly from a Satoru Achi in Japan. The messages contained an invitation to receive a $20 million business proposal and an email address for details. Internal Affairs introduced a service that lets people lodge complaints about spam text messages online in 2013, but as previously warned there is a little it can do about spam sent from overseas. Read more spam text message complaints Sor Vodafone warns of spam text deluges Park spokeswoman Michelle Baguli said she was among the people who had received one of the text messages as did many of my friends and colleagues from all networks. Vodafone warned the Commerce Commission in 2011 that text spam could become common once termination charges for text messages were outlawed. However, its worst fears do not appear to have been realized so far, with mass spamming still a comparative rarity to date. Termination charges allowed mobile operators to charge other phone companies for processing incoming texts, with the expectation those charges would be passed on to people sending text messages. Vodafone at the time suggested a token termination charge of one cent, or a fraction of a cent, to ensure mass text spam campaigns never became economic, but did not carry the day with policymakers. Stuff.